Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vithleahain and welcome to the Generosities Horror Movie Characters I Can Beat video Which, um, yeah, channel I never checked out before, was recommended that I should watch this And the theme sounds kind of interesting, I love horror and I'm expecting some funny stuff out of this just by the title itself So let's go and watch this, here we go Oh, spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine, you can even see the wires and stuff on it yeah, I just keep screaming it. Sorry, surely gonna go away then. Keep, uh, they, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Keep, keep screaming. Don't fall in the hole. Just keep screaming. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's water. That? Yes. You just I watched see, yeah. natural selection take. I was gonna say, if you're that dumb that you're just gonna stand there and watch a thing slowly coming towards you and pushing you into a hole, which is actually a pool of water, apparently. Maybe, you know what? Maybe. Yeah, may maybe natural selection might be uh, just the thing going on right there. Nice. Horror yeah, movies are maybe. one of the greatest blessings of convenient entertainment on this planet. Because whenever they you are. and your buddies want to go to the movies with nothing in theaters, there'll always be a new horror movie out for y'all to watch. Even though nine times out of ten it's gonna be dookie, but hey, at least you weren't bored. And it's so sad because he has a point. I did not watch horror movies in a long time because there were, like, at some point during the, like, I don't know, during like the 2017 to 2020 kind of years, that's when I stopped watching during those years. I, I, I watched less and less. Because there were just so many bad ones. It just, oh. I used to love like older ones back in the day. They were like really cool and stuff. But the newer ones really kind of stopped. I'm not saying that there's no like, good ones when it comes to new ones. There surely are. I just did not see them. But the quality of like them, like generally, went down because there were just there were just so many of them being made it, like so many people trying to make horror stuff so i turned to video games instead and then they, they become my favorite thing i know there's also a lot of bad horror games but there's so many good ones in the, even free indie ones there are just so many actually good like, experiences but that when it comes being to horror case, games most of us are well knowledgeable of the formula of horror movies usually the conflict is a dude <laughs> trying to kill you and your phone don't work for whatever reason and your dumbass is in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason and frustratingly usually when the protagonist is running away or trying to find a way to stop him they do it in a dumb way that gets them killed or at least puts them in more danger yeah they sometimes pick the dumbest option or a choice that don't yep. even help them at all making this situation <laughs> yep. even worse and i start yelling at the screen saying oh no what i mean some people give them the benefit of the doubt saying like oh you know the situation is crazy the, the panic the shock in the moment is making them do dumb things which to, to some people it might be true not everybody deals with stress the same way some people do get dumber under stress it's true but at the same time some of them do some really crazy things for like when things are not even that bad sometimes did you do that you should have done yeah. this instead ah! then the person in the <laughs> seat next to me is like uh excuse me can you please be quiet we're trying to watch a movie here i watch movies at home i don't go to the cinema haha <laughs> i don't have i don't have that problem so then i pull out my gun and shoot why would you okay Sorry for pausing here after I just paused, but I have to say, but it's not the reason because I don't, like, I can't go to the cinema. There are enough cinemas. The, the real thing is, I'm not the kind of person that just sits in one place and watches the whole movie in one go. I can't do that. I cannot focus on one thing for that long. <laughs> I like to switch between multiple things. For example, I'm going to watch 30 minutes of the movie. I'm going to switch and listen to a song. I'm going to switch and look like an episode of an anime. Back to the movie. But some other video, I, that's how I do things. I don't sit on for one thing that's too long for too long. I just can't concentrate for that long. Even make that decision. It's even worse when they're in a group and the. Oh yeah. Also, sometimes there's just things that happen that then you go like, ooh, either like awkward or too excited, and I pause because of that and like listen to a song to get myself even more hyped up for a second. Group decides to split up. Like, why would you oh, yeah, want to split up? They, so yeah. we can kill us one by one? Also, yeah. I'm looking at my skin complexion. And I don't think I'm going to last long. So if oh. I'm dying... Oh, that's a... Okay, that's kind of an attack to so many of horror movies where the, the, the you know, the, the black people die first. That's a good point. That does happen quite a lot. Everybody else got to go with me at the same time. These characters doing dumb things makes me mentally reenact so, their I situations saw, so. in my head. Putting myself in their shoes, immersing myself in their sorry situation that me personally... I would have never been in in the first place if my uh, yeah, friends yeah. wanted to do a Saturday hangout at the abandoned shack in the middle of the woods. 
okay never mind i said yeah but actually if like if i had parents that want, wanted to do stuff something like that i would go i'm i'm the i'm a messed up person i like creepy weird things even though sometimes i can handle like handle them the best but i love them so i would i mean i did go to like a cemetery in the, in the middle of the night and take and have a party with people in the past so as much as as much as I would say I would not be in those situations, there, there are some that I would be in. I'm not doing that. There's a quiz nose <laughs> down the street. I think that's going to be just as fun and more safe. I'm minding my business most of the time. But putting myself in that situation also, that I went these to places. movie characters are in, I'm surviving 100%, 1000%. I know how to beat these threats or at least escape them unscathed. And All I'm right, going to go them. over the ones that I'm confident I can kick their ass. And which let's ones go. I'm confident that. <laughs> what the heck was that? I'm gonna what go the? over the ones that I'm confident I can kick their ass. And, <laughs> and which ones I'm Oh, if there's not a single. If, if there's not a video on YouTube with, with, this, or, wait, uh, with this clip and it being a Dark Souls meme where like all of a sudden it has a boss name and stuff on the screen and stuff like that and, hel and like health bar, I would be disappointed. I would be severely disappointed in humanity and the YouTube like community. If there isn't a video like that for this for, for this clip, I'm gonna go over the ones like, that I'm confident. I can like, yeah, the like in this in this moment right here. I'm confident that I'm, That's I'm what I've been. My ad beat. I'm also Perfect. gonna have a one through ten rating. Ten, I'm winning. One, I'm sprinting. Let's go. First stop, it. First person I'm squaring up with is Pennywise. I've never seen and this if you movie. You don't know him. He's a clown that sometimes be eating kids. So we dealing with a literal child predator. Why does his head look like a peanut? Not that not a peanut. I mean a nut or. You know, the one that's like weirdly shaped. I don't know which one it is actually. I do not know the names in English. Which one is the one that I'm thinking about actually? Is it, is it a peanut? You know, the one that's like bigger at one end and the other and like thinner in the middle? In, anyway, it looks like a half of that. Daily life of a YouTuber. His powers include yeah, don't look changing at that head. shape and size, mind control, teleportation, genjutsu, the list goes on. And if you know me, <laughs> I can't do none of those things. I mean, I maybe can do the shape shift thing. I'm a grower, not a shower after all. But I don't think that's going to help me beat a killer clown. But if you remember the end of part two, you would know how they beat Pennywise. So Pennywise gets his power off of other people's fear. So if you just stand there and face him off unfazed, not scared at all. Oh, oh. You want. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> it's that oh. easy. Just it's stand your ground and be like, you don't scare me and he just disappears just drop wow. Pennywise off in the ghetto or even a middle school boys lunch okay in that case yeah just will power through it there Stable. we go not a single soul would let him cook anything he would be okay for myself okay. i would pick up i would pick a tendon for that i'm like i'm a person that doesn't deal with some of the situations too well when it comes to like anxiety and stress like uh mentally but when i need that I can fortify myself very well. Like when I know it's needed, like it's like a switch. When I know that's something I need to do, like necessarily, then I can, if it, like a switch, I get motivated in the mo like and do it, even if it's something that I really did not want to do. That it. being said, of course I'm gonna beat his ass. So I, I can will power to it. The only I can do it. I can see him catching me off guard is if it's 3 a.m. and I'm home alone in the dark and he just pop up in the corner of my room out of nowhere <laughs> and I'm just like, oh shoot. You know, <laughs> that would spook me a bit. But as soon as I... I don't know. I feel like if I saw that, I would just go up on my feet and try to beat it because I would think it's a burglar and get angry. I get my composure. He means no threat. There's also this one other weakness Pennywise got that one of the characters do in the movie when if you believe any object that you pick up and throw at him can kill him, then it can kill him. You can believe Danger this him. Oh. kills monsters <laughs> if I believe it does. Oh no. Every Spanish mother ever is going to win against Pennywise with the chancla. This chancla kills <laughs> monsters if I believe it does. I feel like I said enough. Pennywise gets a 9 out of 10 low diff from me. The only reason why it's not 10 out of 10 is because his powers are kind of crazy. If you... you know what? Maybe sure. 9 out of 10. Sure. Let's go with You're that. A little scared. Actually. Second up. There's always the possibility. So sure. 9 out of 10 actually. Yeah. I'm going to go with Chucky that. Chucky from Child's Play. Never yeah, seen this either. Doll. His powers include... Actually, I might have seen this as a child, but I don't remember. Voodoo magic, but only when he touching you and it's a long spell, so you got time to... I don't know, kick him. He also apparently has the same strength and speed of a full grown human adult. And I find that very hard to believe. 
I mean, even if that's the case, I can probably beat another adult. I, you know, am, I feel like I'm stronger than a normal average adult, so I can probably beat it anyway then. Maybe the strength and speed of this guy, but an actual grown average sized man? I doubt with that being said, I'm beating Chucky's Barbie booty. Bro is a dog. He can barely <laughs> yeah. move properly. I would score a golasso with his body before letting <laughs> yeah. him near me. I would Good toss point. him like or set it on fire. Like a football before you can even breathe a word next to me. It's surprising how anybody gets killed by him in the movies at all. Granted, all of his kills are by surprise, but you can't catch me losing to a doll in a fight. No way, no way. <laughs> and I doubt any grown up in real life will be outwitted by Chucky also. That's why in every movie, Chucky's goal is always taking advantage of kids, manipulating them to do his bidding daily life of a youtube anyways chucky <laughs> is literally the, the easiest horror movie character no. to be in a fight literally a child can beat him shoot they already have in the movies i rate charlie a 10 out of 10 no diff next mikael actually yeah 10 out of 10 yeah Myers. michael oh that this one is um i don't know if you can really get away from this one if i'm being honest with you he's kind of somewhat resistant Let's Michael say. Myers from the Halloween franchise, tall dude, brandishing a knife, doesn't have any powers other than being unkillable. Yeah, this man's feats are unbelievable, especially since this dude is just a crazy mental patient. Like, Halloween movies got no supernatural stuff happening, but Michael can get beat up, sliced, shot, whatever. This man does not die. Nothing works against him. I mean, like, wouldn't you call that somewhat supernatural then? Not guns, not being burned alive nothing he always wins even when he got jumped in halloween kills by the whole town he still won and you expect me to beat him hell no i'm sprinting i cannot beat this dude even if i had the military on my side yeah actually very fair so it's a one i don't even think a nuke can beat this man michael it's a myers one. is the type of dude to be in hiroshima at the time of the drop and only think of it as a minor inconvenience I can't beat this man. <laughs> random thought but imagine if him and jason were on the same team i've seen a death battle with one against the other and spoiler i'm not gonna say it one actually you're gonna see for yourself if you watch the death battle or my reaction against humanity bro we're finished 2v8 billion and we're still getting smacked. 0 out of 10. Extreme. Oh, I forgot we go to 0. I thought it's like 1 to 10. If it's 0, then yeah, 0. Extreme then. death difficulty. Like, bro, even when they beat him at the end of the movies, he comes back. There's no <laughs> Jesus. And the next villain to beat is also rather difficult. Smile. <laughs> I thought he was actually going to say Senator Armstrong for a second there. I was going to be like, wait, what? Smile is that new horror movie where the main villain is a demon. Did not see and this that either. demon possesses you to want want yourself in front of somebody else. And when they achieve that, the curse passes on to the other guy that saw it. And now they got the demon. But you have a week before you actually want want yourself. So during that week, you'll be seeing hallucinations of people smiling at you. But it's not real. It's the demon and yada. So it's basically not not making you kill yourself directly, but making you lose your mind to the point of wanting to die and kill yourself. Is that what it is? So how I beat him, right? So unlike the rest of these dudes, I literally can't physically fight this guy because this demon's in my head. So I'm gonna use common sense to beat him. If I see this demon in another person's body about to want want himself, I'm gonna just close my eyes. If I close my eyes, it's not gonna transfer to me because but how would you know that's what's happening it only transfers to people who what from now on for the rest of your life if you see somebody try to kill themselves you're just not gonna watch is that what you're saying right now i mean that would be the normal thing to do for a person not just watch somebody literally, literally dying it would be less traumatizing to just close your eyes and not watch somebody doing that <laughs> so maybe, maybe maybe there's a point there maybe yeah you have a point so, so yeah 10 10 you know what? i'm gonna do the same i'm a messed up person but from now on, for the rest of my life, if I ever see somebody try to kill themselves, I'm gonna look away. Whoops, I hit my mind. And I didn't technically see it happen because I have my eyes closed. Easy as that. But At least I'm gonna try. But what if he was doing <laughs> it in a cool way? What if he was doing a backflip while doing it? I I feel like there's more interesting things to look at than that still, even if, if, even if they do it in a cool way, you can find more and better entertainment. I have to look at that. So now I'm possessed by the demon. What do I do now? Well, at that point, the only way to beat him is to click clack someone else. So the curse passes what? on to someone else on the planet. The only problem with that is 
It's kind of illegal, and you're probably gonna go to prison. But no more demon. And Wait, I'm kind of confused. Wait, what? Someone else. Demon. What do I do now? Well, at that point, the only way to beat him is to click clack someone else. What? So if you kill another person? So wait, is that how it works? So or what? the curse passes on to someone else on the planet. The only problem with that is... I mean, in that case, yeah, you're gonna go to prison, but I thought, uh, find somebody, I don't know, find somebody that deserves to die, I guess, and do it. It's kind of a... <laughs> Criminal or something like that. Just pretend, I don't know. Um... I actually don't know, like, I wanted to say pretend you're visiting somebody in prison that did something horrible and just kill them. But they would take any kind of weapon you can bring and not let you get that far. So I don't know. Some, some, you can, you can probably find a way if you just try hard enough. Illegal. And you're probably gonna go to prison, but no more demon. And this is when I thank God that I live in the beautiful flower filled obesity country of the u.s of a where you can find <laughs> loopholes to end someone's life easily. wow you know that's a good point you have the home advantage basically with that <laughs> yeah oh them americans but yeah i still opt for the whole thing i said before maybe just maybe if you see somebody try to kill themselves maybe just don't look at them it's not really the kind of thing that you really want to see even if you're a messed up person like I am, like I said before, I would party in a cemetery in the middle of the night or visit a haunted house in the middle of the night with people and, they, and like be excited for that. I feel like if I see somebody try to kill themselves, I'm going to try to not just watch that happen. Because why exactly would I put myself through remembering that for the rest of my life? I mean, if it's somebody like um, a criminal, like somebody who deserves to die, maybe then I might watch it. Because, yeah, they are, they deserve to die, so maybe I'm gonna watch them die. I don't want to see innocent people die, though. One week to get rid of this demon, or I'm gone. So option one is, of course, to become a cop. What, that will only take me a day or two to become one? What? <laughs> what? And when I get my badge and my badge of justification, I go patrolling, searching for the first person to go over the speed limit. And then I see a man with two kids in the backseat going one mile per hour <laughs> above the speed limit and he's a minority Bingo. damn i mean respect for not having any you know any like restraint for the things you say i guess <laughs> at least you're not afraid to say exactly the most messed up things that you can think of i pull him over ask for the usual and then i intentionally press him a little bit to get a reaction then as soon as he raises his voice one decibel towards me and now look at me with this opportunity <laughs> that's standing right wow. in front of me. But bam, <laughs> no more smile demon for me. I beat him. Now the demon passes on to someone else. Extra points if it's one of the kids. I'll just say I felt threatened. Wow. And knowing America, I'll just get one week off paid vacation. You can also do a lot of other things. You can become an Uber driver and try to do a Walter White to your passenger. Or just take your worst enemy to Burger King for a Whopper. The opportunities are endless <laughs> to get rid of this. He's dishing the heck out of America right now. Wild demon. I'm gonna have to give this a 8 out of 10 pretty low diff. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 for myself. One good fart from me could kill anybody. Because, yeah, again, just would not look and stuff, yeah. Within a 20-foot radius, so. <laughs> Easy mode. Next, Jack from Jack. The Shining. Also something that's very popular and I've never seen somehow. Bro, just get a gun or buy an air conditioner. Easy, no diff. Next. I, so wait, he's just a, is, he, is he just a normal human? Because then, yeah, 10 out of 10. White people get out what? now this is probably the most oh. threatening enemy for a person like me they literally mind control black people to take over their body and they learn these men and women by using their daughter to date a bunch of them or i i'm not black so i guess i'm fine 10 out of 10 just kidnap them however other than the mind control stuff they're pretty much a bunch of regular people but this is the hardest enemy i have to face because i have a chronic problem with white women Cause if it ain't snowing, I ain't going, you know what I mean? I love me my snow bunnies, yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love <laughs> One out of ten. I'm not winning. Wow, well, we are literally exactly the opposite there. Cause I'm not black. 
<laughs> women will be the death of me. I right, I got one more villain. I can guarantee you, I can beat the Dookie out of Ghostface from Scream. Ghost. Oh yeah, go. He's just a normal guy, right? Ghostface is literally just a dude that honestly just gets lucky. Yeah, so just yeah, you know what? Yeah, even if they have a gun or something like that. Before the point of like, I I don't remember. I've seen Ghost. I mean Scream, but I, it was a long time ago. Even if they have a gun or something like that, they don't. It doesn't seem to be the primary weapon when in the ghost costume. So b before they pull it out, if they even have one in the first place, yeah, just beat them. These guys are stupid. I'm surprised they even killed anybody. These dudes are the clumsiest murderers I've ever seen in a movie. Like, bro, they they're just the teenagers? type of people to slip on a banana peel. You can throw the nearest object at him and it will slow him down. Throw a bottle, a bookshelf, your grandma. Anything will slow this dude down if you have enough stamina to run at. Okay, let's be honest for a second. Your grandma. In this scene, anything will slow this dude. I think he was slowed down mostly because he was just so hecking surprised and shocked in that moment. Because it wouldn't you be if somebody just throws a grandma down the stairs <laughs> to slow you down? Wouldn't you be surprised at that point and stop? Down. If you have enough stamina to run at least thirty seconds, you're fine. Even if you ride a rascal, you can beat. <laughs> it's not hard. I'm rating Ghostface a 10. He's ten, just yeah. too simple for a muscle man ten. like myself. Those are pretty much all the characters I wanted to go over today. I mean, I can name more, but we'll be here all day if I was just naming all. He did make another video. Wait, why is why are there like a few more minutes of the video? What, the what? characters I can demolish. What really, as long as I'm not in a saw trap and I'm not facing these dudes, I'll find a way. This was fun to go over. But before I end the video, I have to say, thank you so, 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 so much. Wow, one million. Also, if you're in Saw, there's only one thing you can do. Just follow the damn, like, just follow, yeah, just follow the game. Just do what it tells you. If you try to, like, do the thing where you're, like, just freaking out or, like, just uh, trying to defy the, you know, what's happening, you're gonna die. Like, if you've seen Saw, you're gonna know that just that's just how it is. It's a masterfully, like, crafted game, if you want to call it that. Game, I don't know, just challenge, whatever. Crap. Escape room, whatever. It's masterfully, like, masterfully crafted to the point of... The only way to escape is either if you're, like, very clever, in, even more clever than the guy who made it, have some kind of upper, I don't know, advantage that you, 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 they would not expect you to have. Or just do it. So unless you are, I don't know, somehow strong enough to break the trap, which of course that would be the first thing you try before you actually follow it through with it. Before you actually try the actual thing, like the actual game set with it. But if you can't, the only way is simply just to break it. I mean, just, just do it. <laughs> if you can't break it, you just, you just have to do it. I mean, oh, a million just follow through with it. I'm honestly so thankful for each. And no matter every the sacrifice, I cannot love and thank you guys enough. I love you. I cannot describe how much I love you anymore. So instead, I wrote a song. A song. I hope you like. What? What? This one's out what? to all my fans, all my subscribers. Everybody who the watches heck? my videos. Me, huh? Every time, every time I thought about you, I'd at least have three dimes. <laughs> if you were mashed potatoes, I would ask you to be by my side. <laughs> Even if your name's not Elizabeth, it's not my queen. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Can see the ring. She's there. <laughs> R. Mashed potatoes. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, oh, my ears. <laughs> no, the demon's switching in my ears. No. Maybe he's also one of the creatures of darkness, just like that once in the video. And this is his way to try to kill you. Make your ears blow and you're gonna bleed to death. Yes. Yes, it's definitely that. I'm gonna survive. 10 out of 10 for this one. I'm gonna survive. This song kinda sucks, but you don't. <laughs>
Ah, it's going louder! The Waffle House has found what? I survived it. See, I told you. 10 out of 10. I survived the battle with the monster at the end. <laughs> My ears are fine. So, yes. Anyway, that's it. Uh, interesting video to say the least. So, thank you for watching. Uh, original video in the description. But for now, punch the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And farewell and bye-bye.